Hey everyone, I'm gonna do just a real quick video right here. Um, I haven't done anything lately. We've been just super busy here. Um, I'll show you in a second. I opened up another yard up by that big pine tree and immediately that I thought it was gonna be harder than it really was. And uh, we had trouble with the truck. So we made a turnaround at the entrance up there put some gravel I'll show you that too and this is an old county road that goes down there so it's got a little bit of a base so to be able to work you know all fall here you need you got to have good truck access or else it just doesn't work uh, so we got I think five loads of gravel up there so we resolved um, the problem for the truck and uh, for those of you that aren't around the woods business at least for the type of logging we do um, where we have a center mount the truck loads itself the one thing that really doesn't work is if the truck can't get in and out on his own um, we don't have skidders that are in and out of the woods real frequently so if Wes has to wait for the forwarder at all or vice versa somebody's losing a lot of time it just doesn't work uh, so uh, the truck has got to be able to make it in and out on its own and the minute the forwarder gets in the road, like if we had to push the truck here, the minute he, the minute he's in this road, the tracks chew it up, and when it rains, it'll just it'll wear the road down to big rocks and, and stuff like that. So it um, it won't work. Um, so we'll walk up here. I'll show you that. And Wes, it looks like Wes had a pretty good day. Mark's been here hauling some wood. Um, got a load of pine logs there. That's the our firewood pile. And uh, but this is also I haven't done a video either. I don't think. Yeah, this is the big job that we started. I really wanted to get some video. We had, you know, like the big pine. You know, like. Well, I'm trying to get perspective, but that's a pretty, it's bigger than it looks. Um, the first section we did had all sorts of this big, great big pine and well, kind of like some of these big ones right there, you know, like that. Um, I just... I haven't been good about getting any videos out lately, so. <clears throat> this is where we were having some issues with the truck. Uh, this whole area right here, um, it was all wet and slimy. You can even see some of the water pushing up through. I don't know, it's either water pushing up through or it's, uh, we had probably we had like three couple two or three inches of snow that's just decided to melt and probably this you can see that uh, we actually probably might need to get another load of gravel here the water's pushing up through it but it's not it's good enough what we really needed is this section right here where it's all good so he can back up in here and we were gonna use this yard I opened all this up and uh, this would have been really good but uh, about where the buncher is I thought it was hard and he just sunk right down into it so that wasn't gonna work so we pivoted and I opened up this yard so that we could be up on a hard road and I think that'll work good for us anyways I'll try to do some more videos here but this is the our you know 300 something acres pretty flat ground it's um a really good spot to have the buncher because it's it's a uh, little brushy and a little thin in some areas but with the buncher it goes pretty good so like subscribe comment and we'll catch you later